So I asked and you answered. I got a question, how to be relevant in a Twitter world. First of all, if you don't have a Twitter account, get a Twitter account. All you have to do is go to twitter.com, sign up. Now the key is following people and who ends up following you. Now for me, I follow academics. I follow former journalists who have turned academics. I follow former news leaders like Mark Tony at Smith Geiger and Associates because I want that information. I need that information. So you need to choose in your industry. What information do you need to make yourself relevant? A lot of people think Twitter is nothing. You know, the major question is, what are you doing? And for me, what are you doing? This is a digital age. Are you learning new skills? Are you getting any training? Are you trying any innovative things at work or outside of the workplace? Most of your entrepreneurs end up quitting their jobs because their supervisors, their bosses are trying to control them. They can't do anything new. They can't try things outside of the box. And of course, if you can't figure out how to make money up front, most people don't want to try things. But you have to. When Twitter came out, everybody thought it was stupid initially. Not everybody, but a lot of people thought it was stupid. Twitter is for twits, so to speak. Now it's for tweets. And now Twitter is even talking about charging for Twittering. We'll see if that works out because in this economy of free, there's a great book by Chris Anderson that I want to read called Free. When things are free initially, will people pay for them? It's almost like the news industry. News content has been free now to an extent beyond advertising dollars. So will you as a consumer pay for it? What will you pay for? These questions are permeating out all the different industries, whether it's the movie industry, the recording industry, the news industry, etc. So Twitter, in terms of being relevant with Twitter, get an account. See who's out there that you want to follow to learn something from, to help you improve your situation. So often we're out there just for fun, just for entertainment. And really, Neil Postman was right. We are amusing ourselves to death. That's a book that he wrote, the late Neil Postman. We need to be aware of what's out there. So I have Twitter not only on my computer, but I also have access to it on my phone. This iPhone is a lifeline in so many different ways. On Twitter, I follow CNN. I follow Chicago Sun-Times because my parents live up there. So I get accurate, up-to-date information, as far as accuracy goes nowadays. But I get information that I can pursue. I can find out more information. Well, that's enough for now. I'm Dr. Sib at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, the multimedia maven with the multimedia moment. Again, if you have questions, just ask, and I'll let you know.